there are two ways to look about this question. First, you can say that it's in state one in the second observation, so you can call that x2 is 1, 0, 0, because there is 100 probability that it will be in state one, and no probability that it will be in any other. And we're looking at x4, and we're looking for this number, basically. That, that is the probability that it's on state two on the fourth observation. So x4 is x2 times p2. Let's first find out p2. This is going to be zero. One half, one half. Zero, zero, one. One half, one fourth, and one fourth. So we can take one zero zero times this is zero one half one half zero zero one one half one fourth one fourth. And here you will get zero one half and one half. So there is a one half probability that it will be in state two on the fourth observation, given it's state one on the second. This is one way to do it. The other way is if you understand the property that Markov matrix is considered memoryless. What I mean is that going from second to fourth observation is the same thing as going from the first observation to the third. To go from th first to the third, that's like kind of saying there are two transitions and we actually didn't need to use state vectors. We can, we can simply look at P2 and say what's the probability of transitioning from state one to state two in two transitions. And this is the number. This is P1, two, two, which is one half. And this would have been much easier And here, this is this x two actually could, could have been could have been x one depending on how you look at it. So this could have been x one and x three. And this is this is if this is x three, that's just x one times p two. So you can see that with Markov matrix, it doesn't really matter which observation you're on. More important thing is how many transitions you're going through. So this is one way to look at it. You can use state vectors and then transition to state vectors. Or you can simply here look at the fact that there are two transitions, so you're looking at P1, 2, 2. And your answer is 1 half.